this is what we have done earlier. There are two ways to create sort of a surface out of these polylines. And we can say, we can go to surface and underneath surface, we can say four point surface. And we can connect this, this, and this as my surface. Or we can say boundary surface and connect our polylines to this boundary surface. So in this case, it's basically working both ends. So let's keep with the, let's stick to the boundary surface since it's a bit simpler. And have this over here. Okay. And what we have is two different surfaces is triangulated, but let's put a custom preview and swatch maybe white swatch copy this and paste it and a black swatch it will look like a checkerboard but yeah let's group this group this group this and group this so far what we've done is we convert the polylines into surfaces and if we increase this you see that my facade system parametrically generates all this triangulated geometries as well so i mean that's too much yeah, a bit smaller here okay i don't know like seven is okay it seems all right so what we have done so far is basically creating all this but if we want to have sort of an openings on this panels, how we can do that in our system. So let's take a look at the logic of it first. And the logic of it is going to be fed by, again, I'll copy this and paste. I'll reopen my example rectangle here. Put that in again, set one curve, discontinuities pull out connecting all these points in again and what I'll be doing basically is basically seeing this and maybe I can clear this off and this is my first triangle and what I can do is based on its area I can scale this right I mean you can offset it and scale it it's up to you, but let's use scale for this case. This is my center, and my factor is going to be changed in between 0 0.1 to 1 point or 0 0.99. Okay. So you see, I am doing it, and it's never touching the surface itself. You can say, okay, I just want to have it 0 0.9. That's completely up to you. Okay. And this is the logic. So if I copy this and paste this, I will have the same thing over here as well. And you know, like if we want to have this, the interior part as glass, the other part as, I don't know, some sort of a material cause, uh, what was, what was it called? Uh, it's like a material where we put all, where we can see almost all the facades of the high rise buildings. It's like, a, start with C, but I can't remember the name. Uh, it's, a, it's a panel kind of a geometry, all right? So what I'll be doing is basically, now if I preview this off, and if I preview this off, and we will be using this but why don't we again copy this and paste it over here maybe i can put this create sort of a data highway convert this as a group connect it here connect it here copy this paste it down below here and here and you know what we can do we can control them by using a one single slider so if i delete this if i take this out of this group connect it over here 
Okay, what I'm seeing now, of course, there are a bunch of other points. And we see the surfaces still. But you see now, I am seeing the triangles. Turn this on again. I am seeing the triangles going up and down, up and down, up and down, sort of a fashion. So what obviously needs to be done is convert the interiors of this openings as surfaces. But we'll take a look at that in our in our next video. So yeah, this one is basically showing you how we triangulate things, and in the next one, we'll focus on the openings.